Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, <clears throat> let me try that again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. And today we are building Bricksburg, specifically the T-Rex Kingdom in our beautiful Lego city of Bricksburg. Hi. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Max was waving at you guys during the opening screen. Did you guys see that? <laughs> hello Luca, hello Arian, hello David, hello Jaeger, hello Lego Kid, hello, hello, hello Zam Zam. Hi everybody. How's it going? So I spent some time off camera. Max and I hung out for a while and we worked on the landscaping around the T-Rex kingdom. It looks pretty dang good. And all we did you guys all we did was copy and paste this super cool landscape, uh, what do you call it? Uh, showcase model. This one. Hang on, let me show you guys. You, you probably remember from last time, but showcase. What is it called? It's like a pirate. It's the showcase. Ooh, which one is it? It's like the pirate show. You, know, you guys know that one. The pirate island showcase. One of these. Not, not one of those, but... A showcase model. Anyway, so I removed all of the trees from the showcase model and I've been just sort of pasting it around and it looks pretty fantastic. So we have one waterfall over here and we're gonna add in more waterfalls. If you get close to the waterfall, you can actually hear the water. Oh, not at night, just kidding. Let's spin the sky. The waterfall turns off at night, but during the day, during the day, we get some nice water effects. You can hear the waterfall and you can see the bubbles during the day. Here we go. There it is. Isn't that nice? Let's jump up here so we can see it a little better. Oh, bye, Arian. Thanks for joining. Brandon, remember to post the... Yes, I certainly will remember this time. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about remembering to post our... Bricksburg to the website, but I forgot last week. I just didn't get time to do it. However, I will do it this week. And remember, if you want to download Bricksburg and play it on your PC version of LEGO Worlds, you can on the website. Here's a link in the chat. So this is the entrance to Jurassic World. And if you go through here, hang on, let's, let's go to the bridge. Let's go on a quick little tour for those of you that are new or haven't been here in a while. Um, we're not going to tour all of Bricksburg, obviously, because it's massive. It's a huge, ridiculously huge city. Um, if you come across the water, though, hang on, let me fix the zoom, you guys. It's going to... What's the, my camera set at? Track and zoom. We're going to put it on tracking. Okay. Otherwise, it keeps moving around, and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so if you cross the bridge from the main part of Bricksburg, and you go across the bridge, you come to... Jurassic World um, and you can see from the side here too the canal right there it's pretty cool um, go in and you're greeted by two beautiful dinosaur statues I might change this up a little bit and make it a little more grand one of you guys posted a really cool model let me show you that really quick actually our friend Jaeger here posted a really cool model I don't know if we'll use this because I think I might do a bigger gate but our friend here posted a really cool model where is it Uh, Dino, there it is. It looks really good. It looks just like the Lego set. Hang on, I'm in the wrong tool. This one. Here we go, Jurassic Park entrance. Okay, so this is for the original Jurassic Park. And it's pretty cool. Um, We're probably gonna make a custom one. But this one looks really good. Let me drop it down so you guys can see how good it looks. It looks fantastic. Oh, look at that, you made it fit perfectly on the road too. So we're gonna set it right here and see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that, you know all it needs really, all it really needs is some fire torches. Where are those torches at? Torch, what are those called, torch? These small wall torches. 
Let's put some of these on here and then we'll step back and check it out. And you guys can tell our friend Jaeger here what you think about his awesome model. I think it looks fantastic. Okay, maybe we'll... Yeah, we'll have them so they like go inside there like that. Perfect. So you guys know that Bricksburg is a community, it's a community project. So I've built a lot of the, you know, many buildings in Bricksburg, but most of the buildings in Bricksburg have been built by you guys. Most of the models and buildings are built by you. So if you want to contribute to Bricksburg, you can do so either on the website or the best place to do it is on Discord. You can upload your models there and you can share them with the community. And you guys have built some amazing stuff. Um, keep it up. And if you want to help, then I would suggest building models for uh, Jurassic World right now, since that's what we're working on. Um, however, we're gonna be shifting to, in about a month or so, we're gonna be shifting to Star Wars content because there's a new Star Wars game coming out in November, a new Lego Star Wars game. Look at that, that looks great. Wow. <clears throat> There's a new Star Wars game coming out in November. Wait, yeah, November-ish? And of course, we're going to be playing that game. So we're going to be shifting to mostly Star Wars content at that point um, in Bricksburg. You know, we're going to be building a whole Star Wars city. Wow, that looks great. Oh my gosh, good job. Okay, sorry, I've been neglecting the chat. You don't have a PC, Agnes? Yeah, sorry you guys. I wish LEGO Worlds were cross-platform, but you can't play it... You can't play Bricksburg on anything but PC because they didn't make it work so that you could play things cross-platform. But if you have a computer and you have LEGO Worlds, you can get it for pretty cheap now, <clears throat> you can download Bricksburg and you can explore all of Bricksburg. And Bricksburg is massive. We have the commercial district. We have the residential district. We have the Halloween town. We have Area 51, we have Jurassic World, we have Ninjago District, we have a restaurant district, and we have so many things. It's crazy. And we have Legoland, all made by, mostly by you guys. So it's pretty cool. Um, hello Noodle, how's it going? Make Star Wars, yeah, so I was just actually mentioning that. We're going to be shifting to Star Wars content um, probably in about a month. We're going to get as far as we can on Jurassic World. And then we're going to shift over and it's going to be like Star Wars. Maybe in a little more than a month. Because the game doesn't come out till November. So probably... Yeah, maybe like in September. Yeah. First part of September, we're going to be shifting over to Star Wars. And we're going to be focusing pretty much on that until the game comes out. So it's going to be really cool. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Yeah, we have a Halloween town. Your real name is Will. Good to know. I'm probably going to forget that. <laughs> you have PS4 and PC, Luca. That's amazing. Um, I have the game on Nintendo Switch and PC, but honestly, it plays terrible on the Nintendo Switch. It's pretty bad. So I wouldn't recommend playing it there. <laughs> Bye, Will. Thanks for joining. So let's actually fly over. I'm so proud of this landscaping, you guys. Let me fly over the landscaping so you guys can see how good it looks because I spent some time and I think it looks fantastic. So we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into bat mode and we're gonna fly over so you guys can see the beautiful landscaping. Um, if you don't know what bat mode is, if you turn into the vampire, you can become a bat, and then you get free reign to fly over your creations. It's pretty cool. So, this, all this is, this is the same model, you guys, rotated, and it's higher and lower, and it created this really cool hilly effect. We're gonna add some more trees in there, because I took out the trees um, so that I could put the hills in first. We're going to add some more trees in, but look at how cool that looks. We have this really nice jungly effect here in the front of Jurassic World. Um, and it looks great. 
And I think what we're gonna do is tuck in some additional waterfalls in random spots. You know, because we have this one right here. Is it already nighttime? Oh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna spin this guy. Because, <clears throat> <clears throat> ooh, my voice. It's already nighttime. So we're, it's pretty, but it's kind of hard to see at night and the waterfall turns off. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and spin the sky. Um, to do that though, we need to uh, switch back to the vampire, take out the sky spinner and spin the sky. You like the banana split boat, isn't that cool? That was made by our friend Jasper. He's a very talented builder. He also built uh, Legoland. Okay, so we're gonna go back into bat mode here. And we're gonna check out the rest of this, the rest of this beautiful landscape. Isn't it cool? We gotta add in a bunch of more trees along here and we gotta figure out how to work on the entrance of the, uh, oh! What the heck, how did you get up here? <sighs> Man, the raptors are getting out. They're on the roof. How did you get on the roof? I mean, they're pretty well contained in here, at least I thought they were. But apparently they can climb. We have actual raptors now, you guys, isn't that cool? These are actual raptors, not just Coelophysis. We have the actual raptors. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, Overtime Gaming, how's it going? You love the bridge, good. And you love good Area 51, good. Hey, Atomic, what's up? Um, yeah, David, sorry, I thought I said that a couple of times. We are going to build a Star Wars, a whole Star Wars district in Bricksburg. Starting in September, we're going to be focusing strictly on Star Wars uh, Lego content here in Bricksburg. We'll have to figure out where that is exactly, but it's going to be here in Bricksburg. Somewhere. <laughs> so this is the first of many waterfalls. I think it'll be cool to put tuck in some random waterfalls here and there. So yeah, it's looking great. Um, we still don't have a uh, stairway up to the T-Rex Kingdom yet, but uh, we're gonna work on that. Um, I did finish terraforming this area here, so now the river is kind of enclosed around these little hills and stuff, and they go all the way out to here. So I think what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna be copying and pasting the main fences for T-Rex Kingdom. We're gonna build that enclosure and then we're gonna terraform up to the bottom. I think it's easier to do it that way. So basically I'm placing these uh, fence enclosures like this around here before I put in the connecting pieces, these, and then we're gonna terraform up if that makes any sense. But of course I will show you and you can see um, bye Lego Kid, thanks for joining. So you guys, we're not streaming Minecraft today only because I have a dental procedure. Gotta keep these uh, in shape. I have a dental procedure at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. That's my Minecraft time. That was the only time they could do it. So um, I won't be able to talk because they're probably going to do, you know, whatever. So I, uh, I'm i going to play Minecraft though. So if you're if you're part of our realm, then log in. Um, I'll probably be on there maybe like 3 o'clock if I get home by then. Maybe a little after that. I'm also currently too extremely hyped right now to do anything but continue to be hyped. Wait, what are you hyped about? Oh, thank you for liking and subscribing, Crank Tank. And turning on notifications. Thank you. Yes, you guys, please. Please, if you're not subscribed yet, and 80% of you apparently are not subscribed. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. I guess that's pretty standard on YouTube though. Please hit the subscribe button, it really helps out. Also hit the notification bell and like the video if you're enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying it, what's wrong with you? Just kidding. Yes, please. You love my channel, thank you. Uh, you're hyped because Halo Infinite tomorrow, they just revealed the box art and stuff and it looks beautiful, ooh. Cool, I'll have to check it out. Can you get it on Steam? Um, Zamzam says, I built Sheila on my PS4 and Lego Worlds. What? I want to see it, Zamzam. Can you put a picture on Discord? Or tag me on Twitter or Instagram? DSG, are you excited for the Animal Crossing update coming early August? Yeah. I'm so excited. Other than Lego Worlds, Animal Crossing is the most watched series. 
on my other channel. <laughs> So if you guys like Animal Crossing, please check out my other channel. Um, we only have seven, almost 700 subscribers. If we can get up to 1,000, then I could monetize that channel and it would be great because I've spent a year so far working on that channel, more than a year. Um, so that would be great if you guys could subscribe to that channel too. Be wonderful. I put a lot of great content on that channel. Um, I think you guys will really enjoy it. Okay, let's go ahead and keep working on the T-Rex Kingdom. So the T-Rex Kingdom is going to be pretty dang big. And it's going to be... I like the way we had it shaped in uh, the Ivory City version of Jurassic World. So we're going to have it follow like a similar shape. You know, just sort of like... Fancy and random. Does that make sense? It's going to be a random shape. But it's going to be like hilly and cool. <laughs> I'm so good at describing things. All right, let's put away. Let's let's turn off bat mode, and let's go back to Max. And uh, uh, where's Max? Um, I didn't see the chat. If anyone asked about Lego World Season Two coming soon, I can't tell you exactly when those videos will be done because they take me forever. And you guys know I work thirty hours a week at a job, job, and then I stream for another twelve to fourteen hours a week. So the LEGO World Season 2 stuff is in addition to all of that. <laughs> so after the 45, 50 hours of other work I do, that's on top of that. So it takes me forever. So be patient. The videos will come out. They just take me forever to make them. Um, DSG, have you seen the Squadron gameplay? Yes, I have seen some gameplay on YouTube. It looks out. Oh, wait. The, it came out today? The gameplay? I did not see anything that came out today. I saw something a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I'll have to check it out. Brennan, do you like the gate? Oh, yeah, sorry. I Did you hear earlier when I was talking about how awesome it was? I totally talked about it for like 10 minutes. It's beautiful. Nice job. Um, okay, so uh, we want to do... What is that called? T-Rex? Called like Rex something. There we go. I love this billboard. All right, so we're gonna do this. So basically, yeah, it's gonna be. I don't think it'll come any further over this way because we need some space in that direction. So this is probably the. F no, let's have it go a little bit further. So maybe we'll. Let's go ahead and drop one right here. See if we can match that. Maybe that matches. Yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah. Okay. Then the next one's obviously going to be way up here. Oh, is that too low? That's too low, I think. Yeah, I think we need to drop this in here, and then I'll build a little separator between those because that's going to be too low. The the T Rexes are going to be able to jump right over that. So we don't want that. We got to contain them pretty well. So we'll put another section right right here. And we'll have to build that up. It's a little bit tricky, but it should work out. Um, you'll post some videos on Discord. Thank you, Atomic. Can't wait to check that out. I am so hyped for Star Wars Squadrons. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you love the T-Rex Kingdom? Great! You're really good designer in Lego Worlds. Like, I thought it I was good until I saw the Santa workshop you made. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing you made. Yeah, you like the Santa's workshop? Thank you, Ryan. Um, thank you. I, I mean, I have my moments, I think. <laughs> I guess it's hard for me to take a compliment. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> I just feel like there's so many amazingly talented people that play this game. Um... And I'm in awe of other people like uh, Jasper and Plastic Him. And so many of you guys are so good at it. It's incredible. Oh, is this like really tall? But that's kind of cool. Or maybe it should go down now. Maybe the next section of the gate starts to go down. So let's have it go like here. And then we're going to start having it progressively go down a little bit here. So like this. We'll have like a ridge here. 
like that. So I think this will be quicker than trying to landscape the whole thing and then build on top of that. This way I can landscape up to the gate, you know, the thing, these, these guys. That's how they go down a little bit. So I think what's going to happen is this is going to be like a giant mound right here. Whoops. There's going to be a giant mound right here. And then it'll sort of go down to like nearly ground level over here in the back. I think that'll be cool. Jurassic World is cool. Yes, it is. Um, hi, AJH. Um, if you guys want to mention me specifically, then make sure you use the at symbol. It's easier for me to see in the chat. Otherwise, it's a little harder to see. Brandon, I'm using a different account. Oh, okay. Bye, Zamzam. You love my creations. Thank you. <laughs> Jaeger thinks I should do Animal Crossing in Bricksburg. You know what? That's actually a brilliant idea, Jaeger. We should build an Animal Crossing district. It's a good idea. Someday. Okay, so let's go down a little more here. This should look really cool, you guys. It's gonna like trickle down this hill. And then maybe we won't get any, go any lower than this point. Yeah, because we still want hills and stuff. So this will be the lowest point that we go. And I think we can probably start to turn now. Because this is going to be plenty big as a T-Rex enclosure. Yeah. We're going to be connecting these. Um, I'll show you guys later, but there's a section of... <clears throat> there's a section of material that I use to connect the... These separate... Sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> It's not easy streaming or trying to build and talk at the same time. It's not easy for me. I don't know why. <clears throat> I'll try to chat while I'm doing this so we can be efficient. So we can be efficient builders but also have fun talking and hanging out. <clears throat> if you guys want to chat with me, our streams on Twitch are usually a little bit quieter than these streams here on YouTube. We have a few less people. So it's usually a little easier to get my attention on Twitch. So come hang out with us on Twitch. In other words, here's a link. Um, I've been watching way too much Animal Crossing videos, yeah? <laughs> and hey, that lovely Simmer. I love The Sims. I really want to get back into playing more of The Sims. I have a whole separate channel for The Sims, and I have a bunch of unedited videos that I haven't even posted yet but I love The Sims it's such a great game like it's one of those few games and I think I actually commented this on one of your comments it's one of those few games I haven't ever gotten sick of no matter how much I play it and Animal Crossing is one of those too um, you're from Brazil hi how do I say your name is it Lei Lei M you follow my channel send me a hug my name is Tomas oh I'm sending you a hug, Tomas. <laughs> you guys are great. Agnes, Brandon, I'm using a different account on Twitch and it's secret. Oh, okay. Thanks, Agnes. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Hey, Moimus, how's it going, buddy? Um, if you're just joining, we are working on Jurassic World. We did a lot of landscaping off camera off stream I should say a lot of beautiful landscaping we still have to add a bunch of trees but basically we just use the um, the showcase model for one of the I think it's what is it called it's like one of the pirate showcase models and it's perfect all you have to do is vary the height of it and move it and rotate it and put it around and you get this really nice variation. Now if we can add a bunch of random trees and we can add waterfalls and all kinds of tropical plants, then we're gonna be able to make it look like, uh, make it look like it's uh, organic, you know. But it's looking pretty good so far. That's our brand new gate and I think I might keep it. Made by our friend Jaeger. I was going to build a custom gate, something different than that, but that looks fantastic. Of course it doesn't open. But that's okay. I think it looks pretty good. Um, Brandon, can you do a Jurassic Park 2? I think at some point we could go back 
somewhere else in Jurassic World, maybe tucked away somewhere. And we could build like maybe the abandoned version of Jurassic Park. That could be cool. I don't want to guarantee anything though because I don't know what we're going to have time for. By the way, DSG, when I try to download Bricksburg, there is a file missing in the process of downloading. That's weird. Well, I'm going to upload a new copy today. So you shouldn't have a problem downloading it, but let me know if you have any problems. Okay, let's go back over to where we're building the gate. I think this is going to be plenty big as a T-Rex kingdom, you guys. This should be plenty, plenty big. Okay, let's rotate these here. And let's start to go down a little bit so we can match the other. We're going to have to try and get... Yeah, let's go down like that. And then we'll have to build a custom corner piece there. How much? Yeah, that should be good. Maybe we'll go up a little bit to try and get in the middle. Ooh, that's going to be a big corner piece. Let me undo that one. We'll do this, and then this one, we're going to move it a little more in the middle here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so then what we're going to do... Let me spin this guy, you guys, because I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. Let me put away this tool. We'll stand near the front door here, and we'll spin the sky. Look how beautiful the orange lights look. So Jurassic. All right, let's spin this guy. And then let me show you guys what we're going to be doing in the center. Here it is. So, whoa, Max. You're amazing. <laughs> what a cool move. So, you see that little lattice? The little lattice bricks here in the center? Here it is. So, this is what I do um, in the middle of those columns and those sections. We put in these little lattice sections with the gray. I think that looks really nice. So we're going to do that. I don't remember if I saved those, but I can copy and paste them pretty easily. DSG, you should make a Chef Boyardee can. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, AJH says, I hope you get a million subs. Oh, thank you, buddy. That'd be really cool. I don't even know what I would do with myself if I had a million subs. I think it'd be weird to even have 100,000. Although I remember back when I first started and I was thinking, oh, I'll never have 10,000. Here we are, 10,000. And then I was looking at the number of watch time, like how much people actually watch all the videos between this channel, my other channels, and then Twitch. We're at what, 14 million, 14 million minutes of watch time, which is a crazy high number. <laughs> like what? Sheila has been watched for 14 million minutes. Um, okay, so let me... Look, oh, we have some weird floating trees. We'll have to fix those later. Let's do a little bit of the landscaping then. This is going to look so good. We're going to have the coolest T-Rex kingdom. So let me show you guys what I was talking about earlier. To save some time. Because you know, it can take forever to build in LEGO Worlds. To save some time. You love my channel. Thank you, Luca. To save some time. I have 73 houses in LEGO Worlds. You do, AJ. What? You should put them on Bricksburg or on the website. Either one, either the web or Bricksburg. I mean, Bricksburg, am I saying Bricksburg? Discord, put them on Discord or the website so we can put some of them. We need more houses for our neighborhoods. Uh, Where is it? Jurassic, this. So most of those formations out there, you guys, it's just this model rotated and adjusted for height. And it works perfectly. So you watch this. We can basically, basically, I hate when people say that too much. Basically, we can create these really nice mountain ridges just by using this model and rotating it and changing the height. It gives us a really cool effect here. And then to fill in this space, we could maybe rotate it this way. And we get these really nice, like, terraced 
cliffs and stuff. It looks really cool. And of course, we can use other tools to fill in some of those other spaces. Maybe that's what I'll do right there. But this looks really neat. You don't want, I think when you're building, you don't ever want anything to look too repetitive. So if you can change it up and make it not look like it's, you know, just repeated over and over again, it's going to look better. So like this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's such a simple thing. You love it so far. Thank you, Preston. And I'm glad you love my channel, Jaeger. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Have you been to Ottawa? Is that, that's in Canada, right? I have not been there. I've only been to uh, Toronto and I loved it. Where do you guys all live? Tell me where you live in the chat. Hi, Ethan, I do remember you. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, these cliff terraces are so neat. Hopefully the dinosaurs won't be able to figure out how to climb these. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with our canal. Do we want it to stop or do we want it to keep going? I think we probably want it to keep going. I don't know, so I'm not gonna build any mountains blocking the canal just in case we decide we want to do something different over there. You're from Washington State, awesome. My uncle and his family, so my uncle on my dad's side lives in Washington State. Okay, um, yeah, here we go. Look at that, so beautiful. And we're gonna fill in those spaces but this looks really, really cool. I love it. You live in England. Oh, I love Great Britain. I mean, I've said this a million times, but you probably didn't hear. I don't know if you heard or not, but I visited Great Britain a couple of years ago. I went to London and I went to uh, um, Warner Brothers Studios because Harry Potter is one of my favorite series of all time one of my favorite and I got to see I got to see all the cool sets from the Harry Potter movies and it was fantastic you're from Texas Ryan cool AJ is, lives in Quebec oh uh, parlez-vous français um I live in one when a teachy hi hunter uh, Miro, the animal lover, plays. You remember me, designer. I missed your episodes. Hi, I do remember you. I remember that unique screen name. You should make the London Bridge. Ooh, that would be cool. Warner Brothers Studios. Yes. <laughs> it was incredible. I mean, I've been to Harry Potter land in uh, California. Or, not, well, yeah, it's there too, but I went to it in, in Florida. And it was pretty cool, but it was nothing, nowhere near as cool as Warner Brothers Studios in London. That, my friends, was incredible. Because they had, like, the sets from the movies. So I, like, walked down Diagon Alley, and I was in the Great Hall, you know, the and Dumbledore's office. <laughs> we should build some Harry Potter stuff, shouldn't we? I tried building Hogwarts, you guys, but I just couldn't do it. Know your limitations. Couldn't do it. Mostly because I didn't have time to do it. I was trying to build too many things at once and do too many things in the story of my life. But <coughs> maybe someday we could go back to it. Because Hogwarts is amazing. Speaking of amazing, look at that. That's cool. That looks great. Let's rotate this. Get some nice randomness in here. It's amazing, one single model, with one single model, you can get this much, this much of a look, or this much variation in from one single model. Like, that's super cool. It looks a little bit repetitive though in some parts, so we're gonna have to change that. But you know, all we have to do, you guys, to change that is the smooth tool. So let's change this to the circle and let's try smoothing this out and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. 
that's going to help us make it not look too repetitive, you know? Change it up a little bit in some parts. Cool. Look, yeah, look at that. That's nice. I mean, I really like the way those little cliffs look, so I don't want to do too much of the smooth tool. But it's just a nice way to uh, save a lot of time. I mean, look how quickly... I'm all about saving time, you guys. <laughs> we only have so much time to do stuff. So I'm all about saving time. If we can save some time and still get a really nice effect, then I'm all about it. Hello, Muriello. How's it going? Have you been to Scotland? No, but I would love to someday. Is that where you live in Scotland, Luca? I live in Nebraska, but I used to live in New York. Cool, Hunter. I'm not far from Nebraska. It's pretty close. Colorado. TST, you should make Big Ben. That's a great idea. Maybe we'll do that someday. It'd be cool to have a London district. TST, what if not in Bricksburg, but on a random water world, you build an island and turn it into your Animal Crossing? Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it should be a separate world. We'll have to think about the best way to do that. What is your favorite LEGO game designer? I guess I would have to say this game, only because I'm still playing it, and there's so much to do. So I'd have to say LEGO Worlds. How about you? Animal Crossing LEGO World builds. Yeah, you know, that would be... It's a really good idea. It is a really good idea. We have to get a few things done <laughs> before we take on something like that. Oh, you're in Finland. Cool, Tituxen. You should build the Statue of Liberty someday in Bricksburg. Good idea. I made some Minecraft Animal Crossing builds. You did? Where? I want to see him. Have you been to Alton Towers? It's in England. I'm going to go there on Monday. Alton Towers? I don't think so. It sounds cool, though. Okay, so let's smooth this out a tiny bit here, maybe? Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. Then it doesn't look copy and paste it at all. Oh, I don't really like that one. Can we make this bigger? Oh, it can make it bigger. Oh, good. Let's try that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, wait. What did that do? That's weird. Hang on. Sometimes it does weird stuff like that. I don't like the way that looks. It all depends on, like, what's underneath it. If you have, like... Yeah, like that. If you have empty, if there's some like holes underneath it, it's gonna cause a few issues. But that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, oh, that looks nice. Good. Okay, great, you guys. This is coming really nice. Let's just finish it. <laughs> Let's get it done while we're at it here. Okay, where was I? Oh, sorry, it's nighttime, but you know, I can see okay, so we'll just not gonna bother with spinning this guy. You liked the video. Thank you so much, Ethan. Yes, please, you guys, like the video. It really helps me. We play an old game. We're playing an old game here, so I'm not getting... I'm not really getting a lot of love from the YouTube algorithm because this is an old game and hardly anyone plays it anymore, so not a lot of people are searching for LEGO Worlds anymore. So when you like the video, it helps... It tells YouTube, hey, I like this guy's content, and it helps suggest it to more people. And it really helps for growth. So I really appreciate that when you guys like the videos or dislike them. It's fine. <laughs> Some people don't know this, but a dislike helps you just as much as a like. So, but don't dislike them. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. I'm like, I worked hard on that video. Why did somebody dislike it? Um, okay. Okay. Um, so what will you be building in Star Wars District when it comes? Oh, I don't know. My first thought was like Tatooine. But there's really like so many cool things we could build. I mean, I guess we could have different biomes like Tatooine and you know, like desert, but I mean, Naboo. But oh, oh trying to, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to look. <clears throat> at all the options and see you know what <sighs> plus a ship would be cool 
like actually attempting to build like the Death Star or a Star Destroyer. I don't know. Something in the sky. <gasps> like maybe the cloud, the cloud, uh, what do they call that one? The cloud, the one in the clouds could be really cool. Build Mustafar. Remind me what that is again. My next LEGO Worlds project... Oh, Moimus. Moimus is a fantastic builder. My next LEGO Worlds project will be Star Wars themed. Ooh! Oh! You guys, let's give some ideas to Moimus. Moimus is an incredibly talented LEGO builder. He's built some of the most amazing buildings we have in Bricksburg. Um, the Agent's Tower, to name one of many. He's built some awesome, awesome stuff. So let's give some ideas to our friend Moimus here because whatever he builds is going to be incredible. By the way, check out his channel. He has a really, he has lots of really cool uh, Lego Worlds videos and he did an Area 51 or an alien uh, video which is pretty sweet with those uh, UFOs. And we actually used his UFOs for the uh, Area 51 videos that I made. So be sure you check out his channel. Bye AJH, thanks for joining. Have you already made the Eiffel Tower? Yes, the Eiffel Tower is in uh, uh, Lego uh, Legoland. So we have already made that. And I actually built that a long time ago in, in Ivory City. Jeez, like a couple years ago at least. Maybe more, I don't even know. Um, yeah, give, give Moimus some ideas here. Miro, the animal lover, play says, I really want LEGO Worlds to get a big update. Yeah. I think it'd be more likely that we would get a different game. I mean, I can't speak for LEGO and TT Games. I have no idea what they're going to do. However, considering people are, some people are still playing this game, especially for the building component, I think someday... Someday we will get another game. It's, it may not be called Lego Worlds, but it'll be another game where we can actually build, you know, with massive amounts of Lego. Like this. I don't know what it'll be called, but I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get more digital versions of things are getting more and more popular as time goes on. So I think Lego though, and this is my opinion, who knows if it's true or not, but I think maybe Lego is reluctant to do too much of this digital stuff because maybe they feel like it cuts into the people actually wanting to build with real Lego sets. But I hope they don't feel that way because it's a totally different experience building in real with real life Lego as it is with this. It's a whole different experience and I think people would own both. You know, because just so they can do both. It's a whole different thing. I hope that's not what's holding them back. Build a Lego Star Wars Destroyer. That's a good idea. Star Destroyer. TSG, I have only had Animal Crossing for 20 days and I have 135 hours. Isn't it amazing? It's an incredible game. I love that game so much. I'm scared to make vids on my channel. Don't be scared. Do it. Do it. Don't be scared. I was scared too. I was like, ah, oh, no one's going to watch it. <laughs> I'm not going to be good at it. I won't know what to say. I'll be nervous. And yeah, I was all those things. Sometimes I still get that way. I still get nervous sometimes. and I still feel like I don't know what to say sometimes, but... Don't let those things hold you back. Do what you love. And do it the best you can. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds cheesy, but it's true. Do what you love. I spent too much of my life not doing what I love. And I was finally like, all right, I'm changing it. I'm going to do what I love. I'm a gamer. And I spent years, like, not even gaming. I, I went at least, like, when I was, like, really busy with work with my other jobs and stuff before I started my YouTube channel. I went like two years without really gaming at all. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm a gamer. So 
I went back to gaming and I was like, I'll make a YouTube channel. I'll start, I'll, I'll start making some gameplay and see what people think about it. And it'll just be a hobby. It'll be fun. And, and I ended up loving it so much that it became much bigger than that. So do it. Do it. Jaden says you're awesome. Oh, thanks, Jaden. You guys are you guys are the awesome ones. Burger King, that's a good idea. I've been working on a Minecraft vid. Hi, Spy Boy, by the way, for like two months, and I haven't even started recording yet. So I really hope it's gonna be good. I'm sure it'll be great, and if it's not good, that's okay. I've made many not good videos in the past. So what? Right? <laughs> Just do it anyway. And don't let the don't let the negative comments get you down because we all we all get negative comments. Trust me, I have quite a few. <laughs> I mean, almost all my comments are positive and happy and but there's a bunch of negative ones and I don't even let them bother me at all. Honestly, they don't bother me one bit. I'm just like, meh. So what? Don't care. Don't care. So don't even worry about that. Just do it. I mean, definitely there's there's neg there's negative comments that are critiques that aren't necessarily negative, but they might say, "Hey, you know, I recommend that you get a better microphone or do this or that." Don't get mad about those. That's not really anything to get upset about. If someone's trying to help you and you know, they're doing it in a nice way, don't get don't get upset about that. You know, maybe they want to help you improve the comment or con quality of your content. So don't be upset about that. The only comments I don't like and the ones I ignore are the ones that are just kind of like mean for no reason. So don't worry about those. But if someone's genuinely, genuinely, genuinely trying to help you improve your content, then don't be upset by those. Hope I'm making sense here. William Falcon, good idea. You guys have so many great ideas. Thanks for your awesome advice. You're welcome, Miro. I have zero vids on my channel. I'm sure... The thing is, I'm sure you guys would... You're here watching my YouTube channel. I'm sure a lot of you probably want to do your own YouTube, and you should. Do it. I mean... Don't think... Don't be like, oh, I can't do this, or I can't do that. I mean, who knows what will come of it? Maybe nothing. I mean, I shouldn't say it that way. Maybe it won't ever become something you want to do, like, a lot of. That's what I mean by that. Maybe it's just something you do for fun once in a while, and it's just there. But you know what? It's going to be better actually doing it and not regretting not doing it, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, I'm so glad I actually did it and didn't listen to myself and didn't sabotage myself. Sometimes I feel like in life, we are our own worst enemies sometimes, you know? It's like, you realize you're, you're not really competing with other people in life, you're competing with yourself. And you are either allowing yourself to sabotage yourself and be like, oh no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Or you're not listening to that and you're just doing it anyway. And I, you know, I still feel that way sometimes. I still feel like, oh, I can't do that. I'm not good enough. But why do we do that to ourselves? We shouldn't do that. We got to stop. <laughs> um... Johnny says, at DSG, I imagine that there would be an update for LEGO Worlds and you can go to every location in every LEGO game and you can copy stuff and bring it to your own LEGO Worlds too. Wow, that'd be so cool. I would love that. I mean, when I say I think we'll get another game like this someday, I'm convinced of that. I think it's only a matter of time before how nice this looks <laughs> I think it's only a matter of time before we get another game where we can build freely what did I used to say in my old uh, my, my old designing and building videos it's like having an endless bucket of Legos an endless bucket of Lego really I think it'll happen so nice. Um, I'm missing some comments, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best here. Um, we are all glad you overcame those thoughts because your vids are the best. Sad fact, my life is built on self 
depreciation, so I probably could have done a lot more with my life. Oh, you're so young though, spy boy. How old are you? Don't let you, don't get down on yourself like that. <laughs> I don't mean to trivialize what you feel, but you know what? It's never ever too late. As long as you're breathing, it's never too late, right? It is never too late. And I, you know, I, I wish I would have started YouTube earlier in my life because I could have, you know, 10 years earlier, I could have been a lot bigger by now and seen more success. But you know what? So what? Here I am. I'm doing it. I love it. It's not too late. Do what you want. Hello, Mirillo Costa. Um, but how about you start playing a new game like Ark and Rocket Arena? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you know, I, um, we play other games. We play other games on my other channel, DSG Plays. And that's probably going to be where I do most of my gameplay. This channel is going to be focused on Lego stuff because that's, this channel just, most of the people that watch this channel are Lego fans. So this channel is going to be pretty much mostly only focused on Lego content. But my other channel will have other games and it does. New games and old games alike, so... Um, Brandon, how do you make amazing builds? Jaden, um, good question. I just, uh, I just build. <laughs> I get a lot of inspiration. Um, I do a lot of Googling to see what other people are doing. We have a lot of talented builders in our community, so I see what they're doing too, and I try to emulate and see what I like from their builds. And, um, I think life is all about like creativity, I should say, is all about seeing things that you love and trying to replicate those in your own way. That's what that's what everyone has done since the beginning of time to create things. They see what they love and they try to recreate their own version of it. So um, if you want like sources of inspiration, Architectural Brick is a fantastic source. They have an Instagram account. They also have a website and you can sign up for their email. And I get like daily emails from them with beautiful lego builds and i've been saving all of them for inspiration and it's really good as inspiration um squeaky hey what's up dsg me and Sherhap were just discussing on the minecraft realm and i've decided that i am gonna do a bit of mc stream cool while well, you are at the dentist also i'm gonna so happy my memories from this map oh good you're getting so happy good i'm glad you're enjoying the map and yeah please do stream minecraft minecraft is a great game for people just starting out to stream because it's just very searchable and it can help you grow. We, when we stream Minecraft on Twitch, we get a lot of followers. Um, same thing with uh, Animal Crossing, of course, but Minecraft is a really popular game, has been for a long time and will be for the foreseeable future. Um, how much money do you get from you, from your YouTube channel? Um, I'm not, uh, embarrassed to tell you guys how much I make from YouTube. It's not very much. Um, but um, there have been times um, when it was more and times when it's less. It fluctuates. But on average, on average, I would say it's close to $200 a month from YouTube. Um, and from Twitch, Twitch is probably usually about lately it's been like a hundred dollars a month on twitch so yeah give or take it's not it's not a lot of money it sound it might sound like a lot <laughs> but for for the amount of time i spend <laughs> working on this stuff it's not really a lot um of course there's youtubers that make an, an insane amount of money you know they make millions of dollars i don't ever need to make that much money i don't even honestly you guys it, I don't care that much about money. I mean, I like to be able to pay my bills and I like to be able to pay for vet appointments for my dogs and, you know, I want to be able to have a house and stuff like that. So, but money is not my driving force at all in life because money, it sounds really, it sounds really cliche, but money does not make you happy. It really doesn't. Um, DSG, do you play Lego Movie 2 video game? I have played it. I did never. I never quite finished it. I finished all the levels, but I never like did a hundred percent in that game. So maybe someday I could get back into it and do a little more. But I have I have played 
Lego video, Lego movie video game a lot. And I have a whole playlist of that. I'm going to try and work on the inside a little bit, you guys. We need to build some, um, we need to build some mountains on the inside of this for the, for the Tyrannosaurus Rexes. So they have places to hide and, and climb around. Um, I might have missed some comments, you guys. Sorry, they're coming quickly. Um, the insane amount of money comes from apology videos and clickbait. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The, you, you guys live your life so that you never have to make an apology video. In this day and age, everything you do is monitored online. And everyone knows, and it's there. So just don't ever say mean things. Don't say, you know, don't say hateful things about any group of people. Just don't do that stuff. Not only because it's not good to do that, but also because you don't want to have to make an apology video. <laughs> so just don't do that stuff. Be nice to people. I don't know why we can't just be nice. Just be nice. Don't be mean. Just because someone is a different color from you or just because it's a boy that likes boys or a girl that likes girls, it's not, you don't need to be mean to them or be rude to them or tell them they can't live their life a certain way. It's not okay to, be, to treat people that way. So yeah, hi DSG, I'm back, not coming next week because I'm helping with VBS at my church. Oh, cool. What's VBS? I have a teacup poodle. That sounds adorable. Remember when you get fans in the past and they told you a character in the game. Will you do that again, please? Yeah, we have done that. We just haven't really had time to do much of that lately. But we will, at some point, we'll do like a Saturday stream where we can go back to, where we can go back to Ivory City and you guys can tell me your characters and we can get them into, into Ivory City. So yes, the answer is yes. I can't tell you when, but we'll do that. This is looking great, you guys. Let's rotate it so we have a very, a, a change here in the. <clears throat> cool. It's amazing how productive I can be while I'm just like not thinking about it. <laughs> Um, vacation Bible school. Cool. That sounds like fun. I, uh, my family was a little bit religious when I was growing up and we did some stuff like that too. Vacation Bible school. Um, Brandon, I love Jurassic Kingdom. Nice. DSG. I'll be back on my, I'll be back with, you have to charge your batteries. Okay. Are you streaming Lego Star Wars on Saturdays? This Saturday, yes, we're going to be streaming Lego Star Wars. Good question. Maybe do some water in the T-Rex Kingdom so they can swim and drink. I love that idea. So maybe we'll make a... Sp oh, you know what then? Why don't we do this? Why don't we leave like this section here for water? And we could put some cliffs around it. That's a great idea. Let's put some cliffs around the water. So these will be, these will be like our water cliffs here. And then this whole section down here will be water. Is this like the longest night ever? <laughs> it just feels like it's been night for a really long time. We make some cliffs over here too. Yeah, I'm gonna try and bring this down a little bit so we can get a nice little slope back here. We gotta make sure the landscape isn't too high up back here because otherwise then the T-Rex, the T-Rexes can jump over the walls and they can go into the rest of the... Of course, luckily being in sandbox mode, they don't really attack, <laughs> which is really nice. To not have to worry about dino attacks constantly. Okay, let's get some cliffs in down here too. There we go. That's looking so good, you guys. This looks great. 
Let's try and change it up a little bit, do some of this over here. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let me um let me spin this guy. Oh wow, look at this. Whoa. Cool. What do you think, Max? I think he likes it, you guys. Um welcome back, Atomic. You had an error with your bio lab, so I had to go get that fixed. Okay, cool. Hope you're getting your homework done. <laughs> hmm. Charlotte, I'm going to a wedding for my cousin. Fun. Uh, Johnny says, T-Rex was a huge carnivore and primarily ate herbivore, herbivorous dinosaurs, including the Endventosaurus and the Triceratops. Well, maybe we should put a couple of Triceratops in here then. They don't move very much, but... You like it, Jaeger? Good. Play Ark. I think you would be really good at it. Yeah, yeah, Jude? Um, we might play that, but it's... I think it's mature rated, isn't it? An M rated game? Uh, Daniel says, DSG, you should get Undertale. Multiple endings. Minor swearing. No killing required. It's really fun. $15 for Switch. More stuff on Switch, though, like Mad Mew Mew... Yeah, you know, a lot of people love Undertale, and I've heard really good things about it, so. I think I even downloaded the, I might have downloaded the, um, I might have downloaded the, what am I trying to say? I might have downloaded the demo. Wasn't there a demo or something? Okay, let me think about this, you guys. Usually when I put water in, I don't paint. I usually... Hmm. Because painting, I don't know that painting is really going to give us the effect we want. Yeah, usually add. Hmm. Yeah. When I put in water, I usually do. I usually. Oh my gosh, it's still nighttime, really? Okay, when I do water, I usually use the add and remove tool. And I do it in a different shape for water. Um, I guess we'll do river water. And I usually do it in the upside down year I think do they have that this one because I feel like this one that's as big as you can do it <sighs> this one gives you a shape at least that's not just you know and then this way we can stay we can go right to the edge, and it should look... I guess in certain spots we could... We could make it bigger, but this should make it look kind of more realistic. Like it should give us a little bit of a coastline. Let's just see what this looks like. Of course, we don't want it to be square, though. Water's tricky in this game. If you guys have suggestions for how to do water better, let me know because I, uh... Oh yeah, that was Delta Rune. Thank you, Atomic. I'm getting them confused. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever really been able to do water very well. But this doesn't look too bad. And the nice thing about the dome here is we get a little bit of variation in that, in the water floor there. So it's okay. And then we could even change the floor a little bit more. Let's see, what if we went down? Oh yeah, look at that. Then we could make indentations too. Hey, look at us being smart. Looks kind of nice. Oh, and I can hear the water sound. <clears throat> Welcome back, Ryan. Not much. We're just still working on the T-Rex kingdom. 
trying to figure out the best way to put water in. And that doesn't look too bad. I always use replace for water. Hmm. Yeah, I've done that before too. Um, I guess when you're trying to make something a little more organic though, you probably want to use a tool to like sort of sculpt it out so that it can look a little more organic, you know? And you have, and you can go along the edges of the, of the land. It takes a little longer to do it this way, but looks good. And I think our T-Rex friends will appreciate all the effort you've gone to to give them a beautiful home, right? Maybe. We'll have to do a little bit of cleanup, like those little green bricks right there. But you know what, you guys? It's not too bad. It's not so bad. Let me just go along the edge here and finish this and then I'll check the chat. really cool along these cliffs here. Heck yeah. Cool. It's looking good. What do you guys think? Um, Brandon, I'm glad you like my model. I do. I love your model, Jaeger. I'm gonna leave that there. It looks really nice at the gate. We didn't have a gate yet, and you did a great job on that, so. Nice work. Bricksburg is a community project, you guys. It's only going to get better with more participation from you guys. Ooh, we have weird water right there. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. I'll probably build some more cliffs around there, I think. Ooh, cool little islands. Let's keep these. I like them. Variety and changing things up in your model. Like, that's what I think looks... That's what makes some LEGO world... Some LEGO builds look better than others. Is going to be variety, you know? Something unexpected or something with some extra detail is going to make your build stand apart. Try and draw around these. Cool. Way back in there. back to the other side, you guys. We've almost got the outline of our... Yeah. Look at this. We have the outline done. Cool. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we've made all this landscape today. It's amazing. 
It's amazing. You can't wait for me to post on the website. Okay, I will for sure, right after the stream, I will remember, I promise. Usually it's the first thing I do, but I will do it. Charlotte says, I have four brothers, but no sisters. You need a sister, Charlotte. <laughs> I have, I have one sister and three brothers. Daniel says, DSG, I sent you some art. Oh, thank you. I will be sure to look at it. Uh, Charles says, hello, I'm new to the channel. I build myself a huge tower. Oh, house inspired by you. You did? That's awesome. You love, you love the buildings. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that makes me so happy. I love when you guys say that you were inspired to build. Being creative is like the best thing ever and this game can make you very creative or it can help you. It can help bring out your creativity. Oh, look at the sunset, you guys. This is coming along so well. I didn't think we'd get this much done today. It's looking great. Um, SYN, Crank Tank, same, I'm inspired, yeah? <laughs> hey, 41 likes, yay! Thank you for liking it, you guys. And there's 32 people here right now. This is awesome. And an invite to Danny Resort server. Is that your server? I would say you like dinos. Then Ark is for you, yeah? Yeah, one of, one of our community members was trying to get me to play Ark a while ago. It looks pretty cool. I love dinos. Oh my gosh, the sun. The... T-Rexes in here are going to have the best view at sunset. I'm so jealous of them. They get the best view. Let's go over here and check out the... What What will the entrance look like? The water looks so good. And then we're going to have... This is all going to be water down there. Right there. So the T-Rexes will have plenty of space to uh, hang out in the water. We're going to put a bunch of trees in here. And of course, this is the entrance. It's a tiny little entrance because I don't want the T-Rexes to be able to escape. So they can't fit out this door, thank goodness. And then we're going to have, you know, I'm going to build the sections in the middle of the wall there so they can't sneak out the sides of the wall. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, let's put it. let's put a couple of trees in here. Since we don't have a lot of time left, why don't we go ahead and put, I, I copied, I copied some of these beautiful giant palm trees. These palm trees from the, uh, I've only seen these palm trees and maybe they're in other places too, but I think I've only ever seen them in that first, uh, in that first pirate playground that tutorial world. I've only seen them there. They might be, uh, they might spawn. They probably do spawn in like regular jungle, jungle kingdoms, but I haven't seen them yet or I just maybe haven't copied them yet. But these are beautiful. So we're gonna put some of these. And we're gonna rotate them as we place them to make them look a little more random. And it's nighttime again. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. It's so nice. Wow. And then I think if we had like a river coming down through here somewhere and then waterfalls going down into the water so you can see where the water comes from, that could be pretty cool. All right, let's spin this guy. This is making me more excited for the Lego Star Wars game. Heck yeah. I can't wait for that game. DSG, what cliffs are you using for the terrain? Can't find it anywhere. Good question, Squeaky. Let me let me find it and tell you. Um, because those, it's a really, really useful. You might have to download the showcase models, but it's one of the showcase models. So let me find which one it is. But you can get all, all the showcase models for free now. Um, but they were always free anyway, I think. Um, which one is it? I 
I think it's one of the... It's... It came with this set. Aha! Here it is. It's the Parrot Temple. I had to remove the Parrot Temple, of course. And I took all the trees out. And then I copied that. Ah, thank you, Johnny, for putting that in there. How about you make a series about Ark? At least one, please. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No guarantees. Does the LEGO Worlds do any more content? Nope. They're done. They're done with the game. They were going to make that cool survival. But they never did. I think what happened is TT Games started working on the LEGO Star Wars game. And they put all their resources in that. I think that's kind of what happened. And they just didn't have the people anymore to do any extra conference like for LEGO Worlds. But you know what? You guys, someday, someday, I and mean, this is a really cool game and it was way ahead of its time. I think someday we're gonna get something where we can build like this. We, of course we will, right? We will. Yeah, they have everyone working on LEGO Star Wars. Okay, you guys, this was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And please hit the subscribe button and hit those, the bell for notifications so that you're notified when the next episode of LEGO World Season 2 hits. And I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. All right. Bye, guys.